welcome to your reading. This is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from December 30th, 2018 to January 5th, 2019. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I've been shuffling. I've been burning some lovely sage, clearing your space for your reading. Okay, I have all the healing stones surrounding your reading. If you've been to Shacy Tarot before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and share. The more you do that, the more I can share these videos for free and um, have enough free time to be able to do them for you, okay? It really means a lot to me, so thank you for that. I'm waiting for some cards to drop out for you. In the meantime, if you would look down in the description box after this vid video, if it does resonate for you, you'll want to take advantage of the extended read on here because um, in the description box it should be available right after this okay if it's not just be patient it means it's uploading okay to Vimeo it's a really awesome extensive extended read it's less than half the price your cards are starting to drop out Ooh, way to start king of swords you're cutting out the crap Aries it looks like or you're dealing with an air sign Aquarius Libra or Gemini but that king right there he's very uh, he, he thinks with his head, not his heart. So it's female or male, okay? Take it how it resonates. This king is very strong, okay? It's a king, female or male, takes on the uh, quality of this king, just is cutthroat, okay? Doesn't tolerate anything, thinks with their head. They cut out all the crap. They're very, very strong. They're very strategic. They plan, they organize, they, they think with their head, not their heart, okay? So they, they definitely cut out anything that's in their way. The next card that popped out for you is the Three of Wands. So I feel that perhaps you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for things to take to fruition. You know, whatever you put out there into the universe, you're waiting for everything to happen. And you're looking out there and somebody may be at a distance from you. It could be somebody you're thinking about, a love interest, anybody. You're waiting for everything to happen and you're just standing there kind of looking out at the horizon, wondering what's next and making even travel plans. Perhaps you're tra making travel plans and that's what you're thinking about right here. You could be thinking about making travel plans. Maybe somebody's at a distance from you and you're waiting for everything to come together. But let's continue on. We can't tell enough with two cards, okay? So in that extended read, I will let you know that I pull cards from my really old uh, enchanted tarot here. You can see the difference in the color. Do you see that? Okay, so that's why I use a traditional rider weight. Everybody's more familiar with them and they are very bright, very depictive, and they are kind of almost self-explanatory sometimes if you really look at them and you feel them intuitively. The enchanted tarot is much older, um, but they do speak to me quite loudly and they they just jump out of my hands. And then I'll also do the Colette Baron Reed in the extended. They are gorgeous. Look at the artwork on those. They speak to me as well, but the Enchanted Tarot especially does. And then I'll also ask for some angel guidance messages for you from the universe, see what they have to say, as well as Adoring Virtue Romance Angels. I'll be pulling some of those as well for you in the extended. And it's about another 15 minute or so reading, plus or minus. And it, like I said, sometimes we'll get double clarification of these cards, so it's really worth it. So let's carry on here. Why is the King of Swords here, please, for Aries Spirit? Why is the King of Swords here for Aries? What can you tell Aries about the King of Swords, please, Spirit? Well, you have the Sun card, so you're trying to get to your Sun. You're trying to get to your place of happiness, bliss. Okay, the Sun card is a major arcana signifying just that, that material happiness you have joyous outcome everything's blooming everything's growing it could be a love relationship growing it could be your abundance is growing everything is growing look how big that sun is so you're, i believe you're trying to wait for all these ships to come in wait for everything to happen you're cutting through all the bull crap <laughs> excuse my french and you're trying to get to your sun that's what I'm really, really feeling here strong for you, Aries. And you could be dealing with a Leo, but I don't I try not to focus too much on the signs, okay? But if you want to talk about signs, there is Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, as well as yourself, Aries, and then Leo again, okay? So take that how that resonates for you. If you're not going to feel any of this vibe at all if this doesn't feel like your life story at all as i go through this then this reading may not be for you maybe the next one will be okay no problem there is also in the description box a bell if you're on mobile you click on that it will notify you of your next video or any other videos that i'm doing and it may be you want to cross watch for somebody else that's entirely up to you i welcome cross watchers that's no problem 
Okay, what's happening in love, please, for Aries spirit? What's happening in love for Aries, please, spirit? What's happening in love for Aries? If too many cards drop out, I won't take them, okay? Whew, take a breather. You must be on fire, Aries. I'm, I'm feeling really hyper, hyper. I feel really, really, really hyper. Wow, okay, yes. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This is the Empress card, another major arcana, okay? This Empress is very, very abundant, okay? She's a good parent, he or she, overall abundance, okay? Good motherly figure, good, uh, good natured, um, even tempered, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus who's very abundant and very motherly and very, um, what's the word, very nurturing. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Maybe the Taurus is abundant. Um, that could be. Wow. Okay, look at this. Yes. This is what they consider the honeymoon card. You could be thinking about somebody that's at a distance, okay? That could be. And this is the chariot. This is action, change, and forward movement. This is a destined path. So you may be destined to be with somebody. And that's what you're trying to get to, is to your son. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Leo or Sagittarius, another Aries, or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay? I feel like you're cutting through all the crap, looking forward, making plans. Somebody could be at a distance, doesn't have to be, but it could be. Because then you have the chariot here, which is action change, could be a journey, a destined path, maybe to somebody that you wish to have um, a reunion with, perhaps. This, they call this the honeymoon card. This could be a celebration. Maybe you're meeting somebody at a celebration, a wedding, or maybe you're going to be because New Year's is coming up right away around the corner here in a couple of days. You could be meeting somebody there or meeting up with somebody there. You could be vacationing to see them over the holidays. Okay, It could be a Taurus. And this also means mother, could be the mother of your children, okay? It could be um, somebody else who's a mother that you know, or your mother. It also can sometimes mean that somebody's pregnant. That could be, doesn't have to be, but that is what the Empress is. Or again, you could be going to see a Taurus. Somebody who's very uh, nurturing, very loving, a motherly type of figure. Okay. Aries, please. What else can you tell Aries? Now, I will mention, just because I'm doing this the December 30th to January 5th, any energies you feel here, some things can occur weeks, months, months later, days later after I read. It could have, some of this energy be, may be already happening in your life, okay? It's timeless, this video. It doesn't matter. If you're feeling it now, whenever you're watching this, then it's meant for you, okay? This is how tarot works. It's the energies I'm picking up. And some, sometimes it can be months from now. You might go, oh, this doesn't resonate at all with this reader. And then two, three months down the road, you might be like, wow, holy cow. Like, I remember that. Somebody said, oh, yeah, it was that tarot reader. You just never know, okay? Things for me, when I had my tarot cards read years ago, happened three, four months later. And I was like, whoa, it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I'm not saying it will. I'm not saying it won't. I'm saying it might. Okay. Anyhow, if you would like a private reading, you can request that at shacy.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. And I can pick up your energies if I have your sun, moon, and rising. Well, I would know your sun by then once you give me your birthday, but I can calculate that for you. That's absolutely no problem. You just need to let me know and I will do that for you. Okay. I can do a live reading on Skype or FaceTime or a video feed. And you can watch that at your leisure. I'll do tape you a video recording, just like I am now, only it'll be specified to you. And uh, then you can watch it at your leisure, which is great. Lots of people love to do that. They like to, you know, have their cup of coffee and watch their video that I've done for them. So, okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's working very, very hard. You see this gentleman here? He is not lifting his head up for nothing. Somebody's working really hard on their money, their coins, their material wealth here their job, their career. Could be you, could be whoever you're thinking about, okay? For Aries, please. What's going on with Aries and love? What's going on with Aries and love, please, spirit? Why is the four of wands here? 
Why is the Four of Wands here? What's happening with Aries and Love, please, Spirit? What's happening with Aries and Love here, please, Spirit? Wow, that one just wanted to hop on out for you. Okay, ooh, the tower. Now, either you or your love interest, whoever you're thinking about, had something suddenly come tumbling down. And if they haven't yet, I'm feeling that they might. Okay, remember what I said about a destined path, action, change, forward movement? This could be what the destined change is all about. There may be something very heavy duty about to happen in either your life or their life. Okay, sometimes this can mean a crumbling down of a whole foundation like a family home. Okay, take that how it resonates. That, that could be what somebody's cutting out. Sometimes this king is here to cut something out. So it could be you or your love interest or somebody else you're thinking about. Somebody you haven't met yet. Maybe, you know, somebody's cutting something out. Somebody could be cutting the mother of somebody's children out of their life or just cutting out a Taurus out of their life or a Leo, okay? I'm going to move that where it belongs here. I like to keep everything in order because that's what tells the story, okay? All right, I'm going to pull a couple more before we go to the extended. Why is the tower here, please, for Aries spirit? Why is the tower here? Wow, there you go. Well, remember what I said about somebody working really, really, really hard. Somebody's working really hard, got their head to the grindstone there. And then you have here the Six of Pentacles, which, you know, is depicting here somebody giving to two people trying to find balance. So whoever this is, they're trying to find balance. Either you or your love interest could be both of you trying to find balance, trying to help more than one person. This is like maybe an equal give and take, trying to find equal give and take in a relationship that just did not work out, either for you or your love interest, whoever you're thinking about, or somebody's just trying to find balance overall between career and family and relationship, okay? Sometimes it means giving or receiving help from others, family, friends, co-workers, business, okay? Wow, see, they're just wanting to jump out. Okay, so somebody is manifesting here. This is a magician. This is a major arcana. Somebody is trying to turn their visions into reality. I believe it's this king of swords cutting out all the crap, okay? I believe that somebody's cutting out anything that doesn't serve them, and they're manifesting. Action and change, destined path, okay? Somebody is working very, very hard, and somebody is trying to turn their visions into reality here. And that could be why the tower is coming down. They're cutting somebody or something out of their life. Maybe they're trying to do too much, give too much. Maybe they're not receiving enough. They're feeling that things are unbalanced and they need to manifest and, and balance things more in their life. They're waiting for this sun to come out. Okay. They're waiting either for their empress, Taurus, or just maybe they've, you know, they're manifesting somebody who's very nurturing, very loving, very caring, a motherly type of person. Could be you, could be somebody else. You have the Page of Cups. Now, this is all about messages. This is a messenger. Usually a young person doesn't have to be. Everybody says it's a young person. You know what? I don't believe that. I believe it can be anybody. Just because it's a young figure on here, it can be anybody wanting to give a gift of love. See how he's holding the gift? You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Does not have to be. Can be just somebody wanting to come in with a message, a gift. Okay. You had the Four of Wands. This is like the happy family. This is like, not the happy family, I'm sorry, like a honeymoon, like celebration. Okay, like going on a honeymoon or going on a holiday or like I said, somebody could be at a distance from you that you're thinking about. And they're waiting for everything to come together. They're waiting to cut out all of these things before perhaps they can be together with you if it's somebody you're thinking about. Could be a Taurus, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, could be another Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, just about any sign we have here, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the extended link. I'm really, really curious as to what's going on here, Aries. We have someone is, look at these cards dropping off here. I'll take that in the extended version. We have somebody that looks like they're trying to cut out someone or something with the tower here. So who are they trying to cut out? Okay, are they trying to cut out uh, a Taurus? 
or are they trying to go to a Taurus? Is that you? Is that them? Let's find out in the extended version. Okay, I thank you so much for being here. I really enjoy reading for you. This is my passion and my pleasure. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. I truly appreciate it so I can keep my channel going as much as I as much as I can because I really enjoy doing this for you. So for those this resonated for, fantastic. For less than half the price, it's truly worth it. Take advantage of it. Go over to the...